But what about the employee who is promoted within a company and is now supervising their friends? What advice do you have for them? It's a good question, and it's one that comes up often. I'll I'll try to answer it in a couple of ways, Hannah, so it can maybe hit home for someone who might be listening. If you are moving from a position of, you know, same status to one of a higher status, if you will, within a company, and you end up managing a friend, I think what's really important, especially with your friends, is to understand upfront what it is you expect of them and what they can expect of you. So it really comes down to setting expectations. And I think that goes across the board for any other people that you are starting to lead, even if you move from the same type of level to a you know, higher hierarchical level. One of the things that you also have to establish with friends is the fact, what's, what's, your, what's your MO together? right? Are you friends first? What's your mantra? And you can actually have conversations of how you want to interact with that person and really set boundaries for what applies to your friendship versus what applies to your work. And so if you're picking up on my theme here, it's really about communication and about expectations to ensure you're aligned. Now, what I'll say is that I've been through this personally, right? I, I was the last company I worked at actually came to work with a friend of mine from business school. And we always said friends first, Now, I'm not saying we were batting a thousand all the time, but the bottom line is that we knew where we stood as friends and it made things a lot easier to interact and work together. 